Okay folks, in this video we're going to look at extracting ID3 tags from an MP3 file and lots of other different files as well uh, to do with music. So you've got your M4A, MP3, FLAC, uh, Apple's lossless codec and so on. Um, we're going to need a module to be installed called TinyTag. There'll be a link in the description to download that or uh, the command through the PowerShell on how to install it through the pip installer. Uh, so I won't I won't show you that uh, in this video. We'll just get straight into it. Um, I'm going to import OS, and I'm also going to import the obviously from uh, the tiny tag. So from tiny tag, import tiny tag and tiny tag exception, because um, we'll need to catch some, well potentially catch some errors um, later on. So. With those two or three things Im imported, we can start to use the classes um, and functions at our disposal now. So I'm going to set up um, a main. Blimey, let's get. Uh, I'll slow down here and get back to typing properly. I'm going to set up a main function here. And before I forget, it's good to just call it uh, before I go ahead and run it and wonder why it hasn't done anything. Um, so in this main. We can print a message, welcome to start out, so we could just print uh, start, so we know it's it's started, it's running through our main code. But what we're going to be doing is set up a tracks uh, variable, a list, because we're going to store individual tracks in here, and we want, I want them to be separated. And next we want to start to go through our directory into where our music stored, so for root, directories and files uh, in os.walk so what will happen here is uh, we'll tell it where to look so we could specify the, 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 the D drive if we wanted to but I know it's in music so we can narrow it down and for this example because I've got a, a couple thousand songs which could take an extra couple of not seconds but it would take an extra bit of time to uh, to go through them all and we don't need that much I'm just going to go to a directory um, where I know there's some number of albums with inside this folder, so I have my folder set up by the artists and the albums inside that, and lots of different files. Um, once we've told it where to look for our our files, we can say for name in files, so we want to grab the name of each of the file, and we're going to say if name dot ends with, and I'm going to use double brackets here, dot mp3, comma dot m4a comma and I'm going to put two more because I know there's two more that could potentially be in there it could be a flac or it could be a dot alac the apple lossless codec so if the file ends with any of those four names then it will do something so if we had for example the album cover in there as a dot jpeg it would ignore that file because there could be hundreds of different files that we don't want um, being pulled into this program. Um, if it finds that file, we can simply tell it to tracks.append name. So we're adding it to the end of our our tracks list variable. So once we've got that done, we could just print it out from there. We could print that if we really wanted to, but that isn't what we're doing this for. We're getting all the files to then extract the uh, the ID three tags from so tiny tag is going to want to know where these files are and we've just pulled all, all that information from it so we could append uh, the root here but um, just because this is the way I've done it I'm going to do it this way for now so I'm going to set up a temp track file and that's going to be equal to tiny tag not Tony tag not Tony tag tiny tag um, dot get so it's going to ask us where's this file that you want us to extract this the ID3 tags from well the file is going to be root plus double backslash um, plus the name so if we look at what we've got here uh, the root is going to be this part and then the name is going to be the name of the file um, in case you're wondering, obviously we've got Black Sabbath. Um, if I bring up the album, uh, yeah, the folder here got Black Sabbath, and there's there's five albums in here. Yeah, there's two of the same one, but they're in different formats, FLAC, and so on and so on. So what it'll do is it'll pull 
uh, this D music Black Sabbath and then it'll add these folder titles as well and then add the name on the end so it's the full directory of where that file exists on my hard drive uh, so we've given that to tiny tag and then from here all the information all the ID three tags have been extracted so we can simply say temp underscore track dot and then because I'm using Visual Studio uh, Visual Studio code when I put a full stop it's going to give me a list of uh, or different uh, attributes that the the um, item we got here set up so we've got album artist artist uh, some bit rates if you wanted that the duration the file size uh, the sample rate title track and lots of other bits of information so obviously the only ones I'm going to be interested in this uh, for this example is the artist and also and we're going to do something with this in a minute and also the title of the track so uh, title um, with these I just want to print them out that's all we're going to do for this video so print open close brackets and let's give this a run so you can see obviously it's done it one and if so actually I'm going to delete one of the prints we'll try and format it a bit nicer so it's going to be uh, let's have a dash in between to separate those and run it again and that's a bit of a nicer layout I think that's a double dash yes yeah, go to the spaces there doesn't matter too much um, but you can see here it's gone start and then if we really wanted to uh, we could put an end point on this uh, it's got the artist name and then the file uh, sorry the song name from all of those files that are in the folder. Now, uh, one thing I want to show you is the exception because if I was to go to a different uh, folder where I know there's an issue, so the Wu-Tang Clan folder, if I print run this now, we get an exception has occurred um, that the MP3 parse has failed. Now, this is because one of the files in that in the folders is corrupt. Incidentally. Um, in the debug mode I could actually see which one it is is it from, can I find it in this information here so it says it's uh, hearts featuring whatever but it's actually the um, that's the previous track because this is the new one that's been overwritten with it so the new one it's the black shampoo song there is something wrong with the header and it causes tiny tag to have trouble reading this file now obviously I've got to end uh, the program so here's where we put in the ability to, to detect that uh, exception and then continue on with the program rather rather than having it crash on us or uh, break the program so after uh, if name ends with and we've appended it to the name we're going to say try and now this needs to be tabbed over one, once more uh, try to do that if not accept a tiny tag exception and then all you have to do because it's caught the exception is just print something out and it should continue with the rest of the track so let's give this a run now so you can see it's done exactly what I said it's got the uh, the title sorry the artist and the title of the song and if we scroll up you can see that um, the error fi the file in, in question that was the error is actually the um, black shampoo song that for some reason has some corruption in the header and ID th and the tiny tag can't read it so we're handling an exception there and we're preventing it from uh, ruining and preventing from the rest of the program from running so it's very simple little setup you can do anything from here um, you can read the tags and do what you want if you've got an idea but other than that uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video